Hello my fabulous people and welcome to another episode of Fashion Street. As always we have a beautiful lineup for you starting off with True Creations in our designer segment an amazing Barakela in our celeb style makeup tips and much more. Stay tuned. Well, as promised, it is now time for our designer segment. We have with us Frida from True Creations. Frida, thank you for having us. Thank you. And do you know the best part is she's my namesake, guys. And I love all her sequins, jewelry and her store. We seem to have a vibe, don't we? Yes, we do. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Frida, let's start from the start. Yes. What is your fashion journey? Where did you start and why fashion? Uh, I think I've been a fashion person for a while, okay. from my childhood. Yeah. My mom tells me when uh, I was in nursery school, I used to have an Indian teacher. <laughs> she used to be called <laughs> Mrs. Shah. So you can imagine she was wearing saris. Yes. And wow. every time I went back to home, I used to wear saris. I used to take her lessons, yes. kanga. Yes. And I used to tie them around myself yes. and pretend to, miss, to be Mrs. Shah. Oh my goodness. So I think that started there. But mm. okay, my journey for actually actualizing it started after my formal employment. Wow. Yeah, I worked for a financial institution for some years. Wow. And I felt I need to retire early because I had babies. Yes. I need to take care of the babies. Oh, yes. And uh, the family business that we were doing, a small family business that we were doing. But when I did the family business, I realized it was not cut for me. So, because I did fashion and design in school. Really? Yeah, in, in my high school, I did clothing and textile. Wow. And I loved it. I loved machine, I loved the cutting, I loved fabric, different colors. The production. Items. Yeah, I loved it. And my mom had an old machine that she had used in our home. So I asked her, can I borrow this machine for a while? Just for a few months, I see if this will work for me. Yeah. I started a tailoring shop somewhere in town, CBD. Really? And it did very well. And actually increased more production for some years. Then I got a tailor, interesting. And she told me, you know what? We can venture into bridal. The first bridal dress I did was for a 60-year-old lady. <laughs> can you imagine? Wow. But, but it was fun. Wow. And I realized, oh, you mean? And slowly by slowly, I entered into fashion. I started with bridal. I was known as the, fa the uh, True Creation Bridal Shop. Yes. I've dressed very many brides yes. in this country wow. and beyond. Wow. And it was fun at that time. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, as seasons come and seasons go, uh, the bridal industry got it very um, yes, kids can get crowded. Yes, got very crowded. Yes. Everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, very anybody true. with small money, they want to start the bridal business. So, of course, uh, there was compromise in quality and uh, there was saturation. Mm -hmm. And actually felt that I need to move. You know, yes. the good thing with uh, business is listen to your customers. When you listen to your customers, you move a step ahead. So I'd listen to my customers and they were telling me, why do? Why are you just doing bridal? Do maids dresses, mm. do uh, evening dresses, yes. do fashion dresses. Yes. And I said, why not? So step by step, I introduced different products yes. to, the, to the bridal. Then with time, I, I wanted to face out bridal. Mm. So right now I'm actually clearing my stock for bridal dresses. Yes, at a clearance sale. Wow. So I welcome Anybody who is out there. We came at a good time. Yes. Anybody who is out there who needs to do a budget wedding, mm -hmm. this is the place to come. Really? Yes. We are coming. Yes. True creations. True creations. So now we're clearing the bridal store. Yes, we And do. now we're venturing into the gowns. The, 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 the prom gowns, uh -huh. uh, mother's gowns. Wow. Evening gowns, yes. cocktail gowns, yes. and office wear. I love wear. a cocktail gown. Yes. I saw a few things that I love, ladies. Yes. Da, 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 da. yes. Very nice. Yes. And what inspires your fabric choices? Because I love your touch of like what we have, the sequins here, the touch, the colors. Very elegant, but very diverse. What would you say inspires them? What inspires me is the different clientele that I work with. I have clientele who are young mm -hmm. and vibrant. Yes. I have middle people who, don't, who want to look classy but not shout about mm. it. And also I have clientele who are older but want to look nice. 
So I have to take care of all of them. Yes. And that's what inspires me. And again, I like quality. Something that you will wear today and still five years down the road, you still look good. Very true. Yes. Very true. Mm -hmm. Something really interesting about you, Frida. I love how you have understood the market and the production and that the end of the business is the client. And this has in a way that it's evolutionized your brand, so to say. So for instance, if I want to come today and order a dress, what would the procedure be like? Do I have to call an order or do we custom make or do I just walk in? There are different ways of going about it. You can walk to the store mm -hmm. and actually surprise yourself by getting what you want. <laughs> I love her so much. Yeah. Yes. Number two, mm -hmm. you can walk to the store, mm -hmm. agree with me yes. and I order. I've okay. ordered many gowns for many brides. Mm. So that is something that is very workable. Very true. Yes. Very true. This mm. is really polished. Mm. Being our show fashion street and there's a lot of young people that are watching you know, and looking up to you being in the industry for so long. Do you have any tip or trick that you'd give a young designer watching now and thinking amazing? I'd love to have a place like this. The best thing to do for, a gro for growth is listen to your customers. They have your next step. Mm. They'll tell you, instead of this dress, can you bring me a longer one? Yes. If they tell you bring longer one, bring longer ones. Yeah. Can you bring fascinators? Bring fascinators. Very true. Can you bring shoes? Fascinators. Bring shoes. Very true. Can you bring handbags? Bring handbags. Yes. And you grow as they ask, as the need comes. Mm produce you know it's it's a very special moment like being here and hearing your journey from when you started and then diversifying because it's not easy to rebrand and you've done it and you know you you've moved you're setting you're setting up everything how has the changes in the fashion industry been what would you say the Kenyan fashion industry is like now uh, it's interesting because Kenyans don't buy brands yes Ironically, yes, true, true. Because if you look at my store, I do American brand, mm. UK and US brands. Yes. But you'll be surprised, brands don't move them. What moves them is what does it fit, do, does it fit well? Is it a good fabric? Is it quality? I'm good to go. Very true. Yes. Very true. Yeah. In, in, in a way, we buy quality in a different way. Quality that works for us. Yes. And that's an amazing niche that you have been able to cut out for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to tell us where we can find you. If I'm watching today and I'm a client, how do I reach you? Social media handles, website, anything? Yeah. You'll get me at Facebook. Okay. We are still transition, transitioning yes. from bridal yes. to the normal, yes. but I call myself True Creations Bridal mm -hmm. Shop True Creations on Facebook. Bridal Shop. Yeah. Okay. On Instagram is True Creation. Mm -hmm. uh, physical, you can come to Next Gen Mall. Yes. Uh, Mombasa Road. Yes. Mezzanine Floor, Shop Number Thirty Five. Oh, wow. Yes. This is really amazing. Mm. And I love the drive you're giving in the business. And Thank I you. love the store. Thank and you. And I can't wait to see you know, more progress in the future. We're definitely here to support you. Thank you. And of course, I'm a fascinator lover, guys. So for all us horse racing fans, you know how to get your fascinators. And Frida, thank you so much. Before we leave, we need to get a parting shot from you. Yes. Yes. Anything that you would like to tell us from Frida, a life mantra or anything? Mm. Okay, I enjoy fashion. Yes. Fashion changes with time and season. So it's just to have a catch mm. of what is going on in the market. Right. And from there, you're good to go. You're good to But go. I like when I see people dressing up well. Yes. Especially for weddings. Can we please respect weddings? <laughs> when people when people invite you for weddings, dress up. Don't come with jeans and t-shirts. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Somebody it, took time. Very yes. true. Somebody took time to invite you. Mm. Take time to dress up. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you. This is amazing. Mm. There you go, guys. Don't come in jeans and t-shirt to weddings. <laughs> come to True Creations. Yes. Well, that's it for the designer segment. We will now be moving on to the lookbook segment. Keep it switched.